you don't know the answer, then ask Maddie. Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Ask Maddie. Sorry I look so grimy, but I was practicing tap and I'm nice working fix. on my <laughs> repertoire of moves. And yeah, so I'm about to go swimming, but let's answer some questions. Move your head. Look at this little bit of deliciousness. Move your head the other way. No, out of the way. Chihuahua calendar for July. Oh. Ebony and Ivory. They're cuties. All right, so the first question today comes from Reality Freak 29 what city do you think is better, L.A. or N.Y.C.? I've been to New York City a couple of times, and I live near L.A., so I know L.A. is a little better. In my opinion, I like Los Angeles better. Which city do you like better, and why? Well, I have to say, um, I live sort of close to the city, so I've been there many times in my life. <laughs> um, I've never been to L.A. before, so I can't really judge... But from what I've seen on, like, TV and stuff about L.A. and, like, from the people that I've met from L.A., no offense, but New York is way better. <laughs> All right. I just, I have to say Sorry, something. Sorry, people I know from L.A., but. Yeah. No, she's not. All right. I grew up 27 years in New York City. I was born there, and I was 27 when I moved upstate New York. And I have family that lives near Los Angeles. New York is better on every level. Visiting it, living there, uh, what you get for your money. I mean, New York, let's face it, it's like no other place in the world. If it's not in New York, it's not anywhere else. Culturally, it's so diverse. I mean, it, L.A. just cannot hold a candle to it. I mean, yeah. New York is it. It's the original. It's the best. I mean, I could just go on for about an hour on this video no. saying, you know, <laughs> singing the praises of New York. All right. Sorry, Reality Freak, but we have to disagree. Let's agree to disagree. Let's disagree to agree. All right. I like that one better. <laughs> Next, we just have a, hey, hope you guys are ready for Big Brother. It starts July 8th. Yippee. Thank oh, you. Birthday ready. 726543. You better believe we're freaking ready. This is like the craziest time of our year when Big Brother's on for that two, two and a half months. So, yeah, our lives end on July 8th, and then they begin again in September. But not really, because it's like um, fall reality TV shows starting up, and it's crazy. All right, the next question comes from Heron Amazing 19 I okay. hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Hey, Maddie. This is a question about The Office, season six. Uh, frankly, it was not the best, even though I love the Jim and Pam wedding and the baby delivery. It wasn't as cohesive. How do you think they can make The Office better for season seven? Okay. Um, I have to agree. It started off a little slow, but I think they really pulled it together for the second half of the season. Um, once they had the baby and everything and they got married, everything kind of... Got yeah. funnier again, and I think the whole Aaron and Andy thing was good. Um, I think that got a lot of laughs, the relationship. They're like the new Jim and Pam. And um, I think to make the show better, they need to focus more on the characters again. And It's definitely past the glory days. Can they bring the glory back? I don't They're know. They're going to have to pull something big out of the bag. Because they announced, I think this is Steve Carell's last season, which is, is really depressing. And I think they're going to try and go on with the show without him. Well, so. in EW, if you got it this week, we just got it today in the mail. They have a whole page on who should replace Steve Carell on The Office. I can't do I can't do this. It would be amazing. I think it would really pull this out of the dumps if Ricky Gervais were to step in <laughs> as the new boss. That'd be crazy. But they're just probably too busy. I mean, he's just probably too busy. That That's my little suggestion. Oh, my God. I can't imagine The Office without him, though, because he's like... I can. <laughs> Whoa. I like the original better. I'm sorry. I like the uh, UK office better. You're allowed to like both. But I like the UK better. It's so much better. And they could be so much dirtier on the UK one. All right. Final question today comes from CCAS1502. Maddie, give me your lowdown on Lady Gaga. What do you think? Is it all shock value or is she the shiznit? Okay. Here is the lowdown, as you asked for. Um, originally, I was not a Lady Gaga fan. 
And then for my news writing class, I had to write an obituary on any celebrity I wanted. So I was like, oh, I'm going to check out Lady Gaga. Not because I wanted to be malicious and kill her off, but because I actually like wanted to learn more about her yeah. background and see what was going on. So as I researched her life more and more, I realized, wow, she's like, she's a good She thing. is <laughs> a real deal. Yeah, she's not just some pop tart. No. She has talent. She is in this whole performance artist um, genre that she started when she was in Juilliard, I guess. And Juilliard. Yeah, I believe she went to Juilliard. She went to NYU. NYU. Sorry, I knew it was in the <laughs> city. Because everything's in NYC. All right. Well, All right. anyway, she like taught herself the piano by ear when she was like four. I mean, she's a real talent, and um, I think people just don't know that and they think, oh, she's just like. People get Costumes distracted by the pretty colors of her performance artistry. And she could do what she does without the performance artistry, but I think it's just a marketing tool of hers to get more people interested. Yeah, it's her brand. Right. It's just to get people interested because, let's face it, you could be the most talented person in the world, but if you don't have anybody to watch you, what good is it? Look up, this is my advice, go to YouTube, look up her pre-Lady Gaga days, mm -hmm. and... Um, You'll find some good music because she is actually really talented. Right. So that wraps it up for today. Um, if you want to leave a question, go to the Mad Rose D channel in the moderator section. Leave your question. Vote on other people's questions. And we will get to it eventually. Let me say it's going to be a little crazy starting next Thursday, though. Um, I don't know how many Ask Maddie videos we're going to be getting in because it's Big Brother season. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm I got crying. all choked up. No, it was the aged cheddar Wisconsin cheese in my throat. All right, kids. <laughs> Till the next Ask Maddie. Much love. Bohane's rate. Comment and subscribe. Thank you.